Here's the problem. They're going to wrestle, as we saw in the SummerSlam graphic. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to wrestle, and CM Punk versus McIntyre, no title on the line, because CM Punk has cost McIntyre the title. Then he cost him the cash-in. This is after McIntyre injured him at Royal Rumble with the DDT. Mm-hmm. Um, and, of course, Seth Rollins is factored in because of his reaction to Punk coming back at Survivor Series in uh, 2023 at the end of that match in Chicago at the War Games. Mm-hmm. So he's the special referee inserted in here, and there is all the noise on the boards and stuff. They don't think CM Punk can carry the match, can do the job because he keeps getting hurt. Medusa. Between him and McIntyre? Yeah. Do you book the match if you believe that? Well, I mean, when you do if you believe that. If I believe that they couldn't do the match, why would I even be booking it? Thank so why you. Why did I even create is, it? What I'm saying is, does Paul Levesque, Shawn Michaels, Bruce Pritchard, um, uh, whoever else in creative, Michael Hayes, all of them, do you put CM Punk in the ring if you think he can't deliver? I think they still deliver as with CM Punk, but maybe they're going to do it in a different way where he doesn't have to do a full match or do something. There's going to be a fuck in there until maybe he can build up his, you know, resistance back. I don't know. Build his stamina back. I, I, I don't know. You know, you said out of whatever. He's been hurt half the time. Yeah. Three. Um, so, he's been hurt. Major injuries three times out of 16 matches he's wrestled in the last couple of years. That's serious. That is serious. And it's unfortunate. I love Phil. And I I just I, he's he's a funny guy. He's he's funny. He's he loves his wife. And he's just very he's a humble dude. He really is in person. And um, I I just, when he was at the CAC uh, receiving his award, um, he, my husband sat there and watched him. He said, damn, Deborah, that's what a, what a humble dude. And he, he spoke very eloquently. He spoke very well. And I was like, yeah, really? Well, you're maybe one of a few that think that along with me. I think he's a great guy. but. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're, if, if I'm a booker and a writer and there's things happening and you're seeing things happen, I would definitely book it in a way to where it's not a full blown situation. So they look like shit and something could happen and he's not healed all the way. Then that's on them. Right. But of course, knowing Phil and them, they'd want to go in full force. I'm ready. I can do this, but it could fuck up. So I don't know. Maybe. This is something to tell. So hopefully they make it through this match. It's if it's a full match. And if he does, then you know he could be okay. So based on what you know, WWE has been building this story essentially since January because they've had to. This is a as a need thing. It's not even a uh, oh, they're being so patient. I think though. it's great. I think what they've been doing between these two are fucking fantastic. I was gonna ask you, I mean, I didn't I should have saved the picture. But yeah. they posted Jack Perry with Drew McIntyre last week on social media, and it blew the hell up. And I should have had the picture. That's my fault, guys. Yeah. I apologize. But you talk about just digging deep. These guys have done a really nice job building this story. Yes, and they need to continue and keep building it. This is what I like and what I really like about the new WWE is that they're really taking the time and they are actually building these stories, three, six month storylines. And when they are building it, it's like each each segment is actually a step up with continuation and building something more to the future if it's other people. And it's active and it gets you thinking and guessing. It gets you guessing. It makes you feel good again about wrestling. And, and I really loved what they've done with these two. Great storyline. Now, a lot of it could have just fell in place and those two, you know, just off the cuff and they add things and it just, you know, that's the beauty of old time wrestling and promos and just ad living. And that's what the shit that really cuts, you know? So I don't know. I just, you know, I remember asking Phil when he would cut his promo on him and I'm like, dude, that was fucking great. How did you do? He goes, well, I just, 
you know, you go out there, you know, you think you know what you're going to say and you start talking and just shit starts coming out. <laughs> you know, it was good. That's pretty good. It is. He's he had, was very humbled, man. I'm telling you. He was. He's he's he's, he's been humbled by a few already. 